Hello, in this video I'm going to show you an example on how to use KNN or K nearest neighbors classifier in using Python using scikit-learn. Okay, so we have a data set. This is the link where you can get the data set. Uh, the data set is about wine quality. So we have 12 inputs for each of the wines. And these are the uh, what they mean, each of the values. And then we have, so we have our 11 inputs and we have one output, which is a score between zero and 10 that uh, reflects the quality of the wine. Okay, so now what we want is to get a test set. So we have some extra wines that we know the 11 inputs for, and we want to know what quality score they should be given. Okay, so we're gonna start by opening the files, okay, so that we have uh, training data. This training data um, is in this file, white, wine white train data. And it contains 12 columns and a number of rows. Each row is a different wine. Each of the columns from 1 to 11 represents the 11 inputs, remember up here. And the 12th column is the output. So the 12th column will have values between 0 and 10. Then we have two other files that contain the test data, which is the 11 inputs for a number of different wines that we don't know the quality for. So we're going to use this file here on the system trained using this other file with the trained data. And at the end, that will give us the quality, the predicted quality for each of the wines. But at the end, to know if our model is providing a good measurement of the quality of the wines, or in other words, if it has a good predictive power, we're going to compare the results with the ground truth, which is the file where we have the actual quality values for those test data wines or points. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a list for each of the values that we're going to be using. It's really going to be a matrix, a list of list. Okay, so we have train the quality, which is the output of the train data set, then the test data set, which is just the inputs, and then the outputs we should be getting the ground truth. Okay, so we're going to open the file with the training data and what we're doing here using the csv reader because it's a csv file we're gonna append all the values except the last one for the train values remember those are the train inputs and then the very last one is going to go into the quality which is the target or the class for each of those or the quality value within 0 and 10 for each of those training endpoints then we're going to create a classifier. We are going to remember to import beforehand. I skipped these lines at the beginning, but from scikit-learn, we import neighbors. So we're going to use neighbors and k and neighbors classifier. The number of neighbors, which has to be decided beforehand. I'm working with 19 and we'll discuss that at the end. And then using the distance, there's different systems of weights, and I will let you investigate the different values that you can use there. Then you're gonna, that puts our points, our training points into the space, creates our areas basically. And now what we're, we're gonna do is for each of our train and quality, it's gonna put those values in, and really this here, this fit is creating those areas. Okay, so the previous one is creating the empty space and then of the particular size, scale and so on. And then on the feet, we are actually getting those points in. Then we read the second file where we have our test values. Okay, so these lines here are opening the new file and we're just appending. We only have the input values here. And what we're going to do, I'm going to skip the truth for a second. Our results, our predicted quality values for the new wines in the test data set are going to come when we use our classifier that we created earlier, whatever name you use here, predict, and then we give it the new inputs. This is going to calculate the distance between each of the points in this test and each of the points that were put in the training 
set in the classifier earlier and it's gonna do the voting using the number of neighbors we used here using the distance measurement we decided here and it will give us a matrix where we have the class or the quality in this case 0 to 10 for each of the new wines that we have on the test set now we can write those results in a file okay so here we can just write the results and that will give us a file where it's gonna have um, six seven nine one whatever the qualities of the wines in the test data set are um, now we can also at the moment we just know that uh, we have predicted certain qualities how do we know if this is a good prediction or not okay so kind of connecting to last week's class we're going to use the metrics module here remember we imported metrics as well from scikit-learn and in this case i'm just using the accuracy score and we're giving it the ground truth so the real qualities of those wines and the ones that we predicted and it's telling us that we're getting a 48 percent predicted correctly you can change the value of the neighbors and you will get slightly different answers okay depending on what number like what the nearest neighbors that when you get further and further what their class or quality in this case is okay so this is the example now i'm gonna go to your exercise and let's discuss that okay so your knn classification submission three exercise is made out of a set of exercises there's four exercises inside okay we are going to be using a data set that can be found in this link about cars and um, there's a number of inputs and then the output is the condition of the car so this is for a second hand website okay so the first exercise is to import your data and put it in the right structures okay so in my example i use the list of the list so if we had a kind of like a matrix type of structure i'd encourage you to try pandas or numpy data frames to structure your data but a list is good as well okay now in the second exercise i want you to convert the values you will see when you open up the files that some of the quality um, or this is the size for example it comes with categorical values so big medium small i want you to convert all those values into numbers following these values here okay on your data set so on your list or on your data frame here you don't need to rewrite in a new file if you don't want to okay exercise three is the classification itself okay so we're gonna classify you will have a, another file that will contain your test data and we want uh, to create our classifier using the training data and the target values for our these are our target values are acceptable or unacceptable and we want to use that those values with the test data to classify our new cars and i also want you to try different values of k you can run a for loop where you're trying for k equals three for two whatever value you want and um, it's always good to have an odd number because remember you're doing a voting at the end um okay so that would be just following what i did in the example and then at the end i want you to analyze and see what the value what value of k will give you the best solution and check what a performance measure would be the most appropriate for this particular problem okay that's all for this week bye